So remember, I said I would tell you two things. I would tell you your challenge, and I would tell you um, very simply how to live. OK. So um, every day, uh, when you look at what I do is I look at my vision board, which we're going to show you, and I look at my palette. And as soon as I wake up and I do my prayers and my meditation, that's what I look at, because I know that that's my personal vibration that I'm entering in the world. And then I look at my intention. And I know that when I dress and am committed to my inner light, that's where my soul lives. And when I commit to that light is when I make the right choices for the day. So the four inner lights that you saw that Suzanne talked about at the very end of her lectures, and she would always say, this, I was with her in the 80s. So we now have how many years later? 1980, let's say. So we've had a chance to catch on to what I'm going to tell you. So what she said is that when you live from your inner light, as a spring, you live from the sunlight. So all Linda Blagman's job is to do is to go in and invite people into her sunlight. And she does that brilliantly, even in the real estate business. That's what she brings. So the sunlight is someone who can bring in fresh ideas, who can simplify, who can remind us of the goodness and the joy of life, and remind us that tomorrow is a new day. That's her only job. It may take different forms, right? It may take real estate, may take leading shaman circles, but she knows that ultimately that's her only job. So now do you want to hear yours? Because I'm putting it in order. Does anybody want to tell me what it is who's been around me? Em twilight. You emanate the twilight. And the twilight is what? I just love that word. Isn't that beautiful? I love how it sounds. I love saying it. Beautiful. Yeah. And the twilight is the divine feminine. So the divine feminine, I'm not saying that the planet needs to be saved because I don't believe that. I believe we're right on target in our human evolution. But I do feel that I'm encouraging the divine feminine to really live and be more um, present in the world. It's uh, not the, the thing that's the easiest for you. Um, I find my summers, um, when I walk into a room of summers, it's usually very, very, very quiet, very respectful, very appropriate. And while I appreciate that, I think that you're all healers and that you have something to say on the planet. It could be through Pamela, who does the beautiful human design for people. Um, it could be for Corey, who does her spiritual work. We all have our gift. And if that's the focus, if that's the most important thing, then everything else falls into place. And you can be um, an actress or actor like Jen has done in the past. Um, you could be involved in health. But if you have the beauty of who you are at the core, because it's where we generate ourselves as women. We generate ourselves through beauty, right? It's through our self-love. And we can look in the mirror and say, you know, I know that I'm entering the world and making a contribution through the way that I look. I'm a walking celebration of life. So the divine feminine is who you are, and you exude the twilight. And then, as a winter lit by the moonlight, our winters, as a priestess of the planet, is to remind the world that we, we can be masterful, that we can strive toward perfection and allow compassion, um, that we understand the principle of forgiveness on the planet. And forgiveness allows renewal. And under our watches, winters is the new year. So we're looking at what is it that we want to honor about our life? What is it that we want to let go of? And what are we recommitted to? And when we tune into that uh, process of life itself is when we're in tune with the universe. You want a healthy universe? Dress in your colors. Just be yourself. Just walk into a room and have people surround you with love. It's that simple. But what happens when you arrive on the scene, all my beauties, looking your beautiful self, and people say, wow. Corey, there's something about that necklace that picks up her hair. There's something about that purple, that kind of garnety purple that looks beautiful with her skin. So I've presenced you in the present moment. And that's what, when you wear yourself, that's what you do for the planet. It doesn't matter where you're showing up, at work or for your husband, your children. 
We have an amazing gift in this room. It's like, I love fairy, telling like, the fairy tale about beauty because it's really true. It's really, really true that everybody is beautiful in their own unique way.